Seriously, can anyone stop the absolute goal-scoring machine that is Erling Haaland? It's getting ridiculous at this point. The Norwegian is scoring goals left, right and centre. You can't have a different captain in Fantasy Premier League besides him, or you'll find your rank dropping back like crazy. The 23-year-old forward took the lead by storm last season and continues to do so this year. So we decided to take a detailed look at the Norwegian's career so far and how he reached the unbelievable level that he's currently in. So hit those like and subscribe buttons and make sure to watch until the end of the video because we have a wild ride to share with you. Born in Leeds, England on July 21st, 2000, Erling Haaland was destined for greatness from a young age. The son of the former professional footballer Alf Ing Haaland started playing various sports such as handball, golf, track and field, and football. Haaland relocated to Bern, his parents' hometown in Norway, at age three. Two years later, he joined Bern FK Football Academy. Haaland's talent was immediately evident, and he quickly rose through the ranks of his local club. At 15 years old, Haaland played for Bern's reserve team and scored 18 goals in 14 games. In May 2016, Bernd's first team manager was sacked and replaced by the youth coach, Bernson, who was appointed caretaker. Having worked with Haaland in the youth system, Bernson decided to promote the young forward. Erling was first deployed as a winger since he was unbelievably fast for a 15-year-old. He made 16 appearances for Bernd's first team but failed to score any goals. Still, his performances caught the eye of 1899 Hoffenheim scouts and the German club offered him a trial. Haaland eventually moved to Mulder in 2017 to play under Manchester United's legend Ola Gunnar Solskjaer. During his time at Mulder FK, Haaland truly began to make a name for himself. He debuted for the club in the Norwegian Cup, scoring his first goal. He was then given his league debut on June 4th as a substitute. And guess what? He scored on his debut again and won the game for Mulder. Haaland finished his first season with four goals in 20 appearances. However, his love for goals slowly grew in the next season. His 16 goals in 30 appearances across all competitions during the 2018 to 2019 season helped Mulder finish second in the league. Did we mention that he scored a super hat-trick in the opening 21 minutes of his game against Brand? Yeah, it's just an everyday thing for him. In January 2019, Haaland joined the Austrian Bundesliga champions, RB Salzburg, on a five-year contract. Before his move to Austria, it was rumoured that his father's former club, Leeds United, was interested in him. However, the move never materialised. Having joined Salzburg mid-season, Haaland made just five appearances for the club and scored a single goal in the later stages of the campaign. However, the 2019-2020 season was entirely different for the forward. He hit the ground running, scoring a hat-trick in the OFB Cup first round. He followed this by scoring 11 goals in six consecutive league games, including two hat-tricks. But Haaland's scoring form was not limited to the Austrian Bundesliga. He debuted in the UEFA Champions League against Genk, scoring three goals in the first half of an eventual 6-2 victory, his fourth overall hat-trick for Salzburg. In his next two Champions League games, Haaland recorded a goal against Liverpool at Anfield and a further two against Napoli, becoming only the second teenager after Karim Benzema in the competition's history to score in each of his first three appearances. Haaland scored 28 goals in just 22 appearances across competitions during his brief stay in Austria. With the winter transfer window approaching, top European clubs such as Juventus and Manchester United came sniffing around the player. Alongside his agent at the time, Mina Raiola, Haaland decided to carve a specific path to his career. He agreed to join Borussia Dortmund on a four and a half year contract, just one year after he joined RB Salzburg. The contract included a 60 million euro release clause after two years. This term gave Dortmund the advantage to get Haaland as they accepted it, contrary to Manchester United and Juventus, who refused to be a stepping stone for the player. On January 18th, 2020, Haaland debuted for Dortmund, coming in as a substitute in the 56th minute against Augsburg and scoring a hat-trick in just 23 minutes. He became only the second player in Dortmund history after Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to score three goals on their Bundesliga debut. You know, usual Haaland stuff. Six days later, Haaland came off the bench again in Dortmund's game against FC Köln and scored a brace in 22 minutes to become the first Bundesliga player to score five goals in his opening two matches. 
as well as the fastest player to reach that tally. Already two broken records in a matter of a week. Haaland won the Bundesliga Player of the Month award, despite being on the pitch for about an hour. He added another two goals against Union Berlin to become the first player in Bundesliga's history to score seven goals in just three games. In the Champions League, Haaland continued his scoring goal form as he went on to net two times against PSG, bringing his tally to 10 goals in eight appearances for both RB Salzburg and Dortmund in the competition. At the end of the 2019-2020 season, the Norwegian had 16 goals in just 18 appearances in all competitions. Erling kept firing during the following season, putting to bed all claims that he was a one-season wonder. Having scored 27 goals in 28 league appearances, Haaland finished the 2020-2021 season as the Bundesliga's top scorer and player of the year. His super hat-trick against Hertha Berlin in the eighth game week made him the youngest player in the league's history to score as many goals in a single game. He also finished as the Champions League top scorer with 10 goals in eight appearances, despite being eliminated by Manchester City in the quarterfinals. With only 14 matches played, this made him the fastest and youngest player to reach 20 goals in the competition and the first player to score multiple times in four consecutive Champions League appearances. He also scored three goals in four German Cup games, including a brace in the final against RB Leipzig, which secured his first title with the club. To sum it up, Haaland finished his first full season with Dortmund with 41 goals in as many games. Feels like he's been playing FIFA career mode on easy difficulty. Haaland started his second entire season with Dortmund the same way he always does, scoring a hat-trick over Ryan Wiesbaden in the first round of the DFB Pokal on August 7th, 2021. A week later, he scored a brace and assisted two goals as Dortmund beat Eintracht Frankfurt 5-2. Unfortunately for the Norwegian, he suffered multiple injuries that season that forced him to be sidelined for a total of 16 games. Still, he scored 29 goals in as many games in all competitions. On May 10th, 2022, it was announced that Manchester City had agreed to activate Haaland's release clause. On June 13th, the deal was officially sealed. Adding Haaland to this Manchester City squad was nothing but a nightmare for the other Premier League clubs. This nightmare did, in fact, turn into reality. Despite missing a sitter in his team's 3-1 defeat against Liverpool in the Community Shield, Haaland did not let that single accident affect him and started to score goals left, right and centre. He scored a brace in City's opener against West Ham, then scored 13 goals in seven consecutive games, including three hat-tricks against Crystal Palace, Nottingham Forest and Manchester United. Only halfway through the season, Haaland managed to score 24 goals, surpassing the previous year's Golden Boot winners. The year before that, and the year before that, and the year before that. That's right, Haaland has surpassed the last four Golden Boot winners halfway through the season. He eventually broke the Premier League record for most goals scored in a single season, as he hit the net 36 times in 35 league games. But the Premier League wasn't the only competition annihilated by Haaland. He scored five goals in four group stage appearances, but that wasn't just it. At the beginning of this season, Haaland was criticised for not being heavily involved in City's play. When asked about this, he said, My dream is to touch the ball five times and score five goals. Well, Haaland turned his dream into reality because he scored five goals in a single game against RB Leipzig in the second leg of the round of 16. If it wasn't for Guardiola subbing him off in the 63rd minute, he would have added more goals to his tally. This achievement made Haaland only the third player in history after Lionel Messi and Luis Adriano to score five games in a single Champions League game. It also brought his total tally to 33 goals in 25 appearances in the competition. He finished the Champions League campaign as a champion, scoring 12 goals in 11 games. He also won the FA Cup while scoring three goals in four games. A treble winner in his first season in England. Seriously, it'll be baffling if he doesn't win the Ballon d'Or this year. Haaland is still scoring goals for fun, even during this season. He already scored six goals in four games so far, but despite his unbelievable records and goal-scoring rates, many still question his ability. Some even argue that he is making the City team worse, since they entirely rely on him as a primary source of goals. However, we find this opinion ridiculous, but we care about what you think. 
What do you think about Haaland's career so far? Do you believe that he deserves to win the Ballon d'Or this year? Or is Messi's World Cup success better than Haaland's treble? Share your thoughts in the comments below and remember to hit that like and subscribe button for more content.